The best antipyretic analgesics and their types. Best antipyretic analgesic. Many of us suffer from a high temperature and infection with the flu and a cold, during the fluctuation of the weather or at any time, and at this time we try to find a quick solution by taking painkillers that work to reduce the temperature, and we will learn in this article about the types of painkillers that reduce the temperature and what is the appropriate dose that should be eaten. The best medicine to reduce fever. Novalgin the strongest painkiller and fever reducer, and works to remove insomnia and fatigue, and is fast-acting. Vagaskin suppository, an excellent analgesic to lower body temperature. Cut-off fly, an effective analgesic to reduce fever, and its dose is a small suspension every 8 hours per day. Cytal, antipyretic, anti-inflammatory, and analgesic, a small suspension dose of 6 to 8 hours per day, and it has alternatives such as, paramol, paracetamol, and abimol. Brufen, a strong and effective analgesic for lowering body temperature and anti-inflammatory, and the dose is 6 to 8 hours per day, depending on the age of the patient. Ketofen syrup an effective analgesic for reducing fever and relieving pain. Panadol tablets, it is one of the safest analgesics to reduce fever, and it is the most widely used. Congestal, a strong analgesic for cold and flu, and to reduce fever, and the dose is every 8 hours per day. Drinks to treat high body temperature. It is preferable to drink hot drinks when suffering from the flu, which works to fight toxins and microbes inside the body. Star anise Mint Ginger The ring Lemon Children's temperature rise Children always get a high temperature because of their weak immune system, so first compresses should be made and a fever-reducing medicine should be given to them immediately, and there are drinks that reduce the temperature in children such as, lemon with honey, milk with turmeric, grape juice, diluted fruit juices. Reasons for high body temperature Atmosphere and climate change A viral infection and a microbe from the outside Inflammation of the nose, ear, tonsils, and sinuses.